Okay, hello. Today we're going to do a milk chemistry science experiment from artificial sea, the chemical jellyfish. Ooh. All right, what do we need to set up? So Let's see, safety. Put on protective gloves and eyewear. Conduct experiment on the tray. Very important. We got the tray right here <laughs> on Gabriel's face. All right. And one more time, how to act in chemistry lab. What's rule number one? Um, we already know that in now chemistry. We already know that? Yeah. Well, then you can do it without looking at the book. What's rule number one? Do not leave food or drinks in the table. Do we have food or drinks on the table? Um, yes. No, we're not gonna drink any of these chemicals. That is super dangerous. All right, number two is work carefully and- Do not rush. Do not rush. Uh, and rule number three. What is it? Work with a parent. Work with a parent? It's or, a- Or an adult. Even trained chemists cannot conduct experiments alone in a lab. So even me, I can't do this alone. All right, and last one is? Clean up after your experiment. Clean up after your experiment, okay. So we have our box full of amazing, cool stuff. We pretty much have a lot of chemicals here. It's cool. So what are we doing first? We pour the sodium Silicate liquid glass solution into the petri dish. Petri dish. All right. Oh, do you want to use the deeper one or the shallower one? The deeper one. That's a good idea. All right. So let's find our liquid glass. There's the liquid glass. Sweet. It says two bottles, so you can pour both of those bottles in there. Good thing we have another paper clip. <laughs> Good thing they sent a paper clip in a tiny bag. Do you like that? I love it. Okay. So and we're working them, both of them? directly on the tray. I think we have to poke the hole with the paper clip. Paper clip. Do you want to try it? I have the reagents list and it says liquid glass hazards may be corrosives to metals, causes severe skin burns, wow, and eye damage, may cause respiratory irritation, so don't breathe it. So put the cap back on, good idea. So if we touch touch the liquid with the with the no gloves, then, then what will happen? Severe skin burns. It's a good thing we live next door to the hospital. We just have to go over the bridge. <laughs> Near the park, actually. Right? Mm-hmm. Let's keep it on the tray. Thank you. Super duper. Perfect. What is step number two? Now apply the metal salt solutions onto the surface of the sodium silicate solution. So apply four to five drops. So these are right over here, I think. 
right? I think you are correct. Does it say CUSO4 and FESO4? FUSO4, MNSO4. Super. And CUSO4. Excellent. And FBCL3. Mm -hmm. And FBSO4. Holy moly. So we have manganese sulfate. Manganese sulfate. Man, I'm not being very careful. Wow, bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Iron chloride. Iron chloride. Copper 2 sulfate. I play four or five drops. And iron sulfate. Alright, so you get to open those, put the paper clip in there, and then drop four or five drops. Um, I don't know if we're doing a paper clip thing. Well, I'm pretty sure we have to do the paper clip every single time. I think not every single time. I think the first one that we tried to do was we didn't have the paper clip. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Five drops. I like more. More is better. I agree. around the same area. Okay, that one's done. Bye-bye! Put the cap back on. You're done. I'm doing it, so... Our chemist can continue his experiment. What will happen, actually? It says an ion exchange reaction occurs between sodium silicate and the metal salts. Different colors. That was iron chloride. Iron chloride. What do we got for iron chloride? P May be corrosive to metals, harmful if swallowed, harmful in contact with skin, causes serious eye damage. What's our next one? What is this blue one? CUSO4. CUSO4. That, that's copper 2 sulfate. One. Harmful if swallowed. Two. Three, four. Causes serious eye irritation, very toxic to aquatic life with long lasting effects. Awesome. And the last one, it looks brownish. What's that one? Iron what? FESO4. Iron sulfate. Iron sulfate. Okay. Harmful if swallowed, causes skin irritation, causes serious eye irritation. I am glad you have these goggles on. They look like a little bit. I'm just trying to sing it, bro. I'm going to put that lid back on. Let's see if single drops look better than the drops all together. Oops, that was really fast. Ooh, one drop. How about this? Can yeah, we'll do the clear one again also. It's starting to look interesting. Let's see if we can zoom in well. Fascinating. Fascinating. All right, it says, just wait three minutes. The water will gradually evaporate, leaving behind a multicolored layer of insoluble silicates. 
to make an artifact leave to dry completely two to three weeks. And then last a yellow one. Let's try one drop. One more drop? Just one single drop. Mm -hmm. Just exactly one drop. <laughs> Single drops look a little better. Although the blue looks really interesting. Can we focus? Okay, how about tissue to put to that? Use this thing. We have an absorbent. And absorb over here too. I want to do it all. Can you take this? Okay. We'll keep our camera directly on our cool jellyfish things. Yeah. Oh, I think it's tough. It's tough. How about these little scoopy things and how about these things? Vessel. Those ones were for the chemical seaweed. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. We did chemical seaweed about a month ago. There you go. Let's see. Can you pour more over here? I want to clean this up. It's not a good idea, but we, mm -hmm. we could pour a tiny bit of water. see how the absorbents work. We're doing a separate science experiment. Whoa. What's happening? That is so cool. What is happening? I don't know. I don't know how to say that. It's disappearing. The water is disappearing into this absorbent. Yep. Cotton thing. Cotton whatever thing. Whoa, that was cool. So, if you like this video, then smash that subscribe button. Mm hmm and? And we'll do more science experiments next time. Bye-bye.